a better, flatter space to eat. And then for cattle, there's basically, there's two things you want to do in the state of Kentucky. Two things they need. One is basically shelter from the elements, and the other one is an all-weather surface, okay? So all-weather surfaces don't create mud, all right? Even with all-weather surfaces, you can see it's still going to get sloppy with our humidity precipitation. But with that said, we got this natural tree line behind us. This is a natural windbreak that basically protects these animals and it lowers their diet as far as how much feed they need to eat, which, you know, saves the producer on inputs, okay? Now on all-weather surfaces, we got slop that's on these fields, but what we got is, is this one's all concrete right here. The next one is all concrete, uh, and then we've also, the next one down from that, we've got a plastic grid that's incorporated with the rock. You can kind of see that on some of the fringes. They use that, that plastic grid um, to run tight. Right out of one are these guys. There's a few things you can do, because um, there's a, a consideration here is these guys are federally protected because they're a migratory bird species. We're at kind of at the top end of their range. Um, they go a little further north. We see increases in numbers uh, during the winter. They also get into big roosts. With that in mind, because they're a federally protected species under the Migratory Bird Act, there's a couple things you can't do. First, you can't shoot them. They're not like any other wildlife within the state of Kentucky under Kentucky Statute 15170 that allows you to shoot any uh, wildlife that's causing damage to your property or potentially yourself, uh, like deer or turkeys or coyotes, bobcats, all that falls under that. These guys do not, okay? With that in mind, there's three things you have to consider. You can 